Hi out there. Once again, we're back to Oscars 2010. We'll be giving you our picks for Best Picture, Best Actor, and Best Actress. Uh, because, of course, everyone's more interested in Barbara, we're going to give the nominations first, and then we'll let her make Not her true. picks. The ten nominations this year are, in alphabetical order, uh, Black Swan, The Fighter, Inception, The Kids Are All Right, The King's Speech, 127 Hours, Social Network, Toy Story 3, True Grit, and Winter's Bone are the ten nominations. Again, they have picked ten films this year. I'm going to give you my predictions of the best film this year. I should say 2010. I, I'm going to start off saying how very disappointed I was that another year was not even one of the ten best pictures. Most of the pictures that I've seen were very disturbing and dark, which is not my type of film. The King's Speech was one of the best films this year. It had everything. The story was great. It, it was based on a true story, and the actors were excellent. The scenery was excellent. The set direction was excellent. Everything in this movie was perfect for me. The nominees for Best Actress are Annette Benning for The Kids Are All Right, Nicole Kidman for Rabbit Hole, Jennifer Lawrence for Winter's Bone, Natalie Portman, Black Swan, Michelle Williams, Blue Valentine. And Barbara's picks are... My pick for the Best Actress is Natalie Portman. Natalie Portman deserves an Oscar just for her training as a ballet dancer. However, the film was not my favorite, but as far as actresses' performances this year, and they were all great, my hat's off to her. For Best Actor, we have Javier Bardem for Beautiful, Jeff Bridges' True Grit, Jesse Eisenberg for The Social Network, and Colin Firth, The King's Speech, with James Franco in 127 Hours. For Barbara's picks, we have... My best pick for the actor was really, really hard on me because I just love Jeff Bridges. Jeff Bridges, excuse me, especially in this role, True Grit. But um, Colin Firth was his performance was so gripping in this, The King's Speech that um, I'm going to pick him. Okay, so now we're going to do my picks. I'm not going to give the list again. I'm just going to read my picks for best film, I have picked The Social Network. Um, it was a tough one for me because I really thought that The Social Network was best all around. It was the best script, it was the best director, um, it, or at least equal to many of the other films in the category. I thought The King's Speech uh, was excellent and it was my first pick at the very beginning of the year, but it started to really get edged out. I liked Inception, I liked The Fighter, I liked uh, um, the kids are all right, but I'm going to have to say Social Network. Without reading the list again, I'm going to say Colin Firth for The King's Speech. I thought all of the movies were incredible this year, and I really thought that this was a very strong category, but I'm going to go with Colin Firth as I stuck with him for The King's Speech throughout the entire year. My pick for Best Actress is going to have to go with Barbara again. <laughs> Natalie Portman for Black Swan, even though it wasn't our favorite movie. Uh, right. And th there were some other problems with the script. I thought her performance was really the only part of the film that was uh, Oscar worthy, in my, my opinion. And she really did a great job. Again, there were some really strong performances. And my other uh, least favorite movie, uh, Winter's Bone, had a, a great performance as well. What about the supporting roles? Well, the supporting roles, the director, the script, all those are things that we really haven't got time for, but if you can make your uh, final statements if you want to, what about the supporting roles? Well, first of all, I think the Academy made a gross error by even placing Haley Steinfeld in a supporting role. She was in every scene in True Grit. That is a starring role, which would have changed the demographics of the co-star, which I feel Melissa Leo in The Fighter would have won hands down. 
but now she's in uh, co-starring with Haley uh, Steinfeld, which should actually have been in a, a starring role, not a co-starring role. Right. And please, no more films when the happy part of the movie is where a girl has to chop off her father's hands and give them to the sheriff. And of course, Aaron, uh, Aaron Sorkin's script is fantastic in Social Network, one of the reasons why I picked that movie. Um, again, we have to mention Toy Story 3 in the, in the best picture category and the best animated film category. It's just, it's just silly. We have to stop doing this, uh, comparing animated films with live action films. So that's it until uh, the Oscars happens and then we'll come back and we'll take our licks. Uh, but for now, please join us on YouTube and on our blog at bifocalreviews.blogspot.com. Until next time, until we come back to uh, see how we did in our three picks this year, here's looking at you. Here's looking at you.